The planned pre-dawn raids to deport families in the U.S. illegally will not happen tomorrow. The president tweeted that two-week delay on the ICE crackdown for families who have missed court dates and faced deportations, a bipartisan solution to the border crisis can be reached. We are just getting word California Democratic Representative and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called the president last night to encourage him to call off the plans. The raids were supposed to take place across one, a 10 U.S. cities, including here in L.A. KCAL 9's Jake Reiner brings us reaction from East L.A., including what Mayor Eric Garcetti has to say. It's not often a planned ceremony coincides with a current event, but that's what happened today. Three, two, one. As a crowd gathered in Boyle Heights to honor legendary labor and civil rights leader Dolores Huerta with a square outside the building where she began her career. I think just Dolores Huerta's presence here must have scared President Trump. President Trump told U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement to hold off, delaying his order to deport thousands of undocumented immigrants. Now he's playing with people's lives. As my message has said, these are not pawns. These are actual people. We know them. My family. And uh, my neighbors are uh, scared. They have fear. Hello. And they're, they're um, have planning to now open the doors. Today was more than just the recognition of a woman who co founded the Farm Workers Union with Cesar Chavez in 1962. Huerta wanted today to be a reminder to keep fighting. Is that we have to just really organize. We have to register to vote. We've got to become citizens and to make sure that this type of political activity could not continue. While there were celebrations in East Los Angeles, here downtown outside the Federal Building, there were protests, people protesting against ICE and the proposed deportation raids. This group will be here for 24 hours, 24 representing the number of people who have died in ICE custody. Mayor Garcetti says he understands why people would be angry. But what he wants is for people to know their rights and to not be afraid. First of all, don't stop working. Don't stop going to school. Don't stop living your lives. That is what the president wants. In East Los Angeles, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.